Hello everybody, welcome back for another video. Hope that everyone out there is doing well. So 2017 was a major year for cryptocurrencies and it seems like just a week into 2018 that will not be slowing down anytime soon. The current total market cap for the cryptocurrency market is now over $825 billion. And just a few, just about a month ago, not even a few days, a month ago, the total market was actually at $500 billion, So that is a huge increase. What this means now at this rate, we could be seeing a cryptocurrency market worth over $1 trillion within the next two weeks. So the big winners in this race or the coins that have helped to push us up this far have been a mixture of Ethereum. Bitcoin, Ripple, Cardano, NEM, and just about any of the top 20 coins as they've all been experiencing incredible gains the last few weeks. We have actually gotten to the point where um, crypto is actually outpacing the wealth of nations, which is why you might have seen so many prominent people on the news lately talking about how much of a bubble this really is and whatever else they had to say. But I mean, I'd be scared if I had all my money tied up in stocks or gold as well. Make sure to always keep in mind that this is only the beginning. Many of the ICO coins haven't even officially launched yet. A lot of them are launching in sometime January, February, March, and then some in June as well. Not to forget the countries and banks that are now using these coins and their technology to update their infrastructures. Next up, some of you may have noticed or may not have noticed, Binance, Bittrex, and Bitfinex have all put a hold on any new accounts being made. For some reason, not one cryptocurrency exchange on earth was prepared for the rush of new customers that 2007 brought. And it seems that this is kind of the same this year as well. I mean, we're only a week into it, so I'll give them a little bit of a leeway. Bitfinex has listed on their website that all new accounts have been denied as they're trying to maintain their service for existing customers without flooding their systems. Bittrex has listed that they've received an enormous amount of new accounts within the past few weeks. And as happy as they might be about this, they need to upgrade their systems before they can get back to normal. Binance has said that they are very sorry for any inconvenience, but it's just not possible right now. And even though they weren't mentioned, I know a lot of people have been having issues with Kraken and Coinbase the last few weeks. Uh, it's, I mean, at this point, most of all, just I want to say just kind of be patient with them. I know it can be a bit frustrating when websites go slow or when they kind of go down, especially when your money is on there. But don't forget, the, their money is also on the line as well. They created these websites. They have just as much money to make. So they're kind of doing what they can to make sure that they continue to receive their cut as well. I just honestly hope they kind of get it together within the next few weeks. Last up, if you had any doubt that we're actually living in the future, let me reassure you. The Brazilian government has noted that they're looking to move their entire nation's voting system onto the Ethereum network, which... If successful, would actually have um, be processing around 100 million or so votes on its own blockchain. So for those who do not know, or rather I'll say uh, the Brazilian people have noted that their government's voting systems are rigged and they do not like them and they are highly inefficient. So a way of getting around this would be to put everything onto a blockchain so that everything could be transparent and nothing could be tampered with. At the moment, it appears that a number of Brazilian lawmakers, along with a congressional legislative advisor and a university professor, are looking for ways to make the transfer to Ethereum in order to bring about new levels of trust within the country when it comes to voting. So what we know now uh, thus far is that the voting system would take place through smart contracts. Obviously, um, they would work similarly to other apps on the Ethereum network, and it seems like each voter would actually receive a digital token that would uh, help them in the process of casting their vote on the blockchain. Even better, it seems like they're actually making an app for this so that people could vote directly from their mobile phones. What a time to be alive, guys. I mean, that's just, that's incredible. Alrighty, guys, that is definitely going to do it for this video. As always, I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are, wherever you might be, whatever you might be doing. And yeah, I will talk to you all soon. See you.